everybody. Welcome to Peculiar Journeys with Pastor JL. I'm Pastor JL. This is my peculiar journey. Hello, welcome. So glad you're here with us today. Fantastic. I hope you've had a wonderful day. I hope your day was super, super awesome. I hope you had a fantastic Easter. Come on. Jesus is alive. That's what I love. I love that we don't serve a a savior who is dead in a grave. No, he rose from the grave. Come on, somebody. That is right, Juliana. Okay, so here's what I want to tell you about today. So I was in all staff um, for our staff here at Higher Vision Church. Um, Thank you. My hat is having some love. True women. Come on, HV women. That's right. Okay, so we had all staff on Tuesday, and Pastor Randy Foster from Crescenta Valley gave a really awesome devotional called Celebrating You. So shout out to Pastor Randy. I'm going to share your points with the people today because it was so good. Okay, so he talked out of Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 9 to 12. Let's read it. Shall we? Yes, we shall. It says, two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. Suppose either of them falls down. Then one can help the other one up. I mean, that's good stuff, right? I think that's fantastic. Like, if I fall down, please pick me up. Okay. Um, Then, oh, it says, but suppose a person falls down and doesn't, ooh, have anyone to help them up, then feel sorry for that person. Absolutely. They'd be like, help, I've fallen, and I can't get up because... They need somebody. Okay, verse 11. Or suppose two people lie down together, then they'll keep warm. But how can one person keep warm alone? Verse 12. One person could be overpowered, but two people can stand up for themselves, and a rope made out of three cords is not easily broken. Okay, so here's what I want to talk about today. He gave four points. I'll give you the four points, and then I'm going to focus on one thing using... Yarn. Okay. So point numero one was serving together keeps the enemy away. Serving together produces closeness. Serving together brings safety. And serving together brings greater success. We're going to go with serving together keeps the enemy away. With verse 12. Back to the Bible. One person could be overpowered. But two people can stand up for themselves, and a rope made out of three cords is not easily broken. This, my friends, is a piece of rope. It's a piece of yarn, but pretend it's rope. All right, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at this. This rope is braided into one piece, right? To another piece, and... Four. So four little pieces, right? So take a look at this. These four pieces by themselves, check this out. I could take it. It's a little hard. But I could rip that, right? I could rip that. Break it in half. Watch. It's my super strength. Ready? Aya! Look at that. Bam! I know. You guys are like, I lift weights. It's good. They're not that heavy. They're five pounds. It's okay. We're getting, I'm, I'm working myself up. Right? Look at that. Super easy to break apart, right? When they're by themselves. But take a look at this yarn. Okay, this yarn is all the way together, all four of those pieces. Look at that. That hurts. Like, I cannot, I cannot, like, like, I can't break it. And so that point that Pastor Randy Foster from Crescenta Valley, HV Crescenta Valley, what he was saying, he said, serving together keeps the enemy away. Back to that verse in verse 12. One person could be overpowered. Two people can stand up for themselves. A rope made of three cords is not easily broken. This is not easily broken. So what are we talking about with keeping the enemy away? This is what we need to do. If you have something going on in your life, boys and girls, you have maybe there's a bully in your school, or maybe you're like having a rough time, like maybe you're having trouble like sleeping at night, or like you get scared for something, hey, you're not in this alone, okay? I used to be really scared when I was elementary school going to sleep, right? And here's the thing, 
I talked to my mom and dad about it and I had them and they prayed with me. And I even had um, our pastor's wife from the church that I grew up in. She like, we told her about it and she prayed with me too. And so like, I had a team of people praying together, right? Can't be easily broken. And then you know what's so great is that God is in the middle of all of that. And so when we're together, like let's band together in prayer, okay? Like no matter what's going on in your life, tell somebody about it. You could talk to me, Pastor JL here, HV Kids. You could talk to your kids leader at your location. Talk to your mom and dad. I'm telling you, talk to aunt, uncle, your grand grandparents, whomever. Like talk to a trusted adult in your life or trusted leader because especially someone who knows Jesus because then... You can partner together with God, right? So here's the thing. If you have you, a friend, and Jesus, boom, that's three, right? Can't be easily broken. So let's pray together right now. Lord Jesus, I pray right now for my friends, Lord. Lord, for all of us. I know I'm going through stuff too, Lord, and I need people to band together with me and to pray together. And so, Lord, I pray, God, that you help us to be brave to talk to each other about what's going on in our lives and help us to stand firm together and to pray for one another because we know, Lord, that we are better together and that when we are together in that that triple braided cord, like your word says, God, that we can together keep the enemy away in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for this, and I thank you, Lord, that you are alive and that we serve a risen Savior forever. And I thank you, Jesus, that there is power in your name, and we can use your name to to destroy things of the enemy because, Jesus, you have the power, and we thank you for that. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, boys and girls. Mm, God's good. I'm telling you, when you pray, Use the name of Jesus. Why? Because his name is the only name with power, and that is the truth. All right. I will see you next time. Remember, triple braided cord. Get Jesus in the mix. Look at that. That's a lot of yarn. And then when you're all together, like, you can't. You just can't. You can't. Okay? All right. Have a beautiful day. Remember that every day with God is an adventure. So let's live God's adventures together. I'll see you next time. Have a beautiful day and goodbye for now. See you later.